my mother's legacy was one of helping out all of the local artists and to give them a platform, give them a place where they can be recognized and appreciated. And that's what can happen here. That's what Amory Gardens is all about. It's about inspiration and helping people to reach the goals that they want to as artists. And it's with children and it's with adults. And we have this beautiful, beautiful venue right here. And, uh, and I have to thank everybody from the Creative Arts Forum who, who helped, helped lead the way for all of this to happen today, really. You were, you were the pioneers of it all. All met together in my mother's kitchen table and wrote a grant and got a grant to have art in St. Mary's County and to help to promote artists. And that was the beginning of the banquet years. She's very happy to see this exhibit. My mother and Charlie Hewitt had a bond. I chose the banquet years because it was something that impressed me, a book I read about artists who got together at the turn of the century, the last century, around 1900. It was Satie, Picasso, Rouault, uh, and all, uh, just uh, and Leger, all these artists before they became big stars. They used to get together, have big banquets, and celebrate each other, and celebrate art and life. And in the comfort of that celebration, they, became, they created what was called the Bohemian movement, which I've always adored. Yes, Kate would love that, because she knew what I'm talking about. And she would be flattered. But she, and amused, and she'd also understand what we're talking about. My banquet years began at a kitchen table on Town Creek. That table was always open any time of the day, a long time in the evening. Jack would be watching the game, and Kay would invite us in, and anybody who had anything positive to say or interesting at all was welcome at that table. So we, we wrote grants, and sure enough, we got one. It was like amazing. But the thing about that table was Kay wanted it inclusive. Kay made sure that we had lawyers at the table, politicians at the table, real estate developers at the table. Everybody in the community was at that table. And everybody in that community was allowed and asked to think creatively about what they do with their lives and their professions. So it was an exclusive artist thing, which is so boring, I can't tell you. It's the most boring world ever. You know, I'm just artists. You gotta have a couple plumbers to make life interesting. <laughs> But with that connection, we got ourselves going, didn't we? I mean, all of a sudden, things started popping.